In this video, we're going to show you how to automate delivery to the Digital Factory 11 Q from Photoshop. If you're not already aware of this, this is a great way to speed up your production, especially if you're doing gang sheets, walk-ins, and one-off printing. If you installed Photoshop before you installed Digital Factory version 11, this will already be set up for you. Simply go to File, Automate, Send to Digital Factory. Now, if you don't see your cues here, just hit Browse and then find your Digital Factory V11 Direct to Film Edition folder and hit OK. This will load them and you can just choose your queue and hit OK. If you haven't saved your document at this point, it will give you an error. Simply save and follow the same steps. Once you choose your queue and press OK, you can head back over to Digital Factory and you'll see your graphic as a PSD is now importing. If you installed Photoshop first and then Digital Factory 11, you should be able to follow this workflow just like we did. However, if you had Digital Factory installed before Photoshop, you will need to rerun the installation to install the optional plugins. In some rare cases, you will need to reinstall the entire software. If you do end up needing to reinstall the software, I highly suggest that you back up your queues as well as your print modes. To back up your print modes, go to Devices, Manage Print Modes, select all of these print modes, and then hit Create Print Mode Package to back them up. To back up your queues, go to Queues, Manage Queues, and you're going to want to export each one of these to a file. You can import these later whenever you've reinstalled your software. This print workflow is excellent for doing one-off prints as well as gang sheets. If you have customers that come in for on-demand gang sheet printing, it's super easy to drop their files into Photoshop, make any necessary changes, or just verify that their artwork is print ready. From here, File, Automate, Send to Digital Factory, and press OK. Now, let's talk about an alternative way of doing this, Hot Folders. For this, we'll go to Q, Manage Queues, and we'll take a look at this TXF300 Dark Garments YouTube queue. When creating a new queue, it also creates a virtual printer. Technically, you could print from anything. I could just right click and print from Chrome directly to Digital Factory. While technically this does work, when printing from Photoshop, it does rasterize a white layer behind your graphic. And that's not really wanted whenever you're trying to print something with transparency. Now, I haven't tried this with Illustrator or CorelDRAW. If you have those programs and you've tried this, please let us know in the comments. Can you actually print directly to Digital Factory using the virtual printer? With our queue selected, we'll click Queue Properties and then click Hot Folders. In order to enable Hot Folders, all you have to do is check mark this box right here. And then you can create or choose a folder for Digital Factory to monitor for any files that are dropped into it and automatically add to the queue. Let's take our pizza again. I've added a black dot here just to make sure we know it's a different graphic. We're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Make sure that your scale is set to 100, Transparency Enabled, and it's set to PNG. Then just hit Export. In the Save As dialog, whenever you choose a folder, the next time you run Export As, it will also go to this folder. This is perfect for using hot folders with Digital Factory. I'll open my folder, hit Save, and then Digital Factory will immediately start loading up that file. If your workflow primarily consists of pre-made gang sheets or one-off prints, you can actually make this even faster. So we go to your queue, click the three dots, then click Queue Properties. Here we'll open Scheduling Options and change this from Hold to Rip and Print Now. This way, anytime you drop a file into that queue, whether it's from Photoshop or from the hot folder, it'll automatically rip and start printing. If you have any time-saving automation tips for your fellow DTF producers, drop them in the comments. And do me a favor, watch this next video right here. Also, if you're wondering about all the condiments and bleach and stuff, that video's not out yet. It'll be out on Friday.